Hello, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition Chronicle, Vancouver by Night, New Blood. As a warning, this is a mature game and explores some dark and troubling themes. These may include body horror, gore, violence, loss of character agency, gaslighting, mind control, drug use, and many others. Our players have discussed and set boundaries, and we collectively avoid situations that may be triggering... Uh, they will always use the yellow and red cards in our private chat if they find anything to be uncomfortable. And our streams, if you as a viewer if you feel uncomfortable or triggered, please pause and step away. Uh, our streams are always going to be available on YouTube after the game, so you can always come back to an episode if you feel ready, or skip ahead to the next one. So, it's time to thank our sponsors. First up, Mikhail Artoria of Artoria Designs who creates these beautiful dice boxes. And I've got the coffin with the little clan storyteller symbol on there, which is otherwise known as the old Cative symbol, but it's, you know, that's cool. Uh, you can visit him on Instagram. The link will be in the chat. Uh, and Illumin Agents is a comedy web series that weaves real conspiracy theories into its <laughs> sci-fi short-form episodes. It is shot in Toronto, and this indie production will leave you laughing and questioning reality at the same time. You can watch season one, which includes the musical finale episode. And you can also see this guy, but not in the same episode. Uh, for free at Sika.tv. Uh, Orc Style is an adults-only fantasy fetish fashion brand for all of you orc-loving monster huggers out there. Orc Style shirts, underwear, and accessories are sure to drop your intelligence and increase your confidence by 10 points. They've also just released their orc their Chompers Orc Tusks. Chompers are perfect for cosplay, role-playing, and streaming. Orc Style's expert tusk enchanters infuse the spirits of great orcs, ogres, and goblins into magical tusks that will transform the common human into a fierce monster. Martla Games is a collective of TTRPG veterans ready to work for you. From tabletop RPG development to actual play production, they have contributed to various Storyteller Vault titles and sponsor channels like us to keep the world of darkness a haven for those with stories to tell. You can visit their link in the chat, and you can explore their world, or they can help you create yours. Uh, and Adventure Dice. Adventure Dice is your Canadian source for dice, role-playing game accessories, and other tabletop gaming goodies. Many of their items are handcrafted in beautiful British Columbia, Canada, which only three out of the five of us today are from. Uh, and you can go and get dice like these ones. These are, they're, I can't remember what those ones are called. Uh, but it's basically a green, they've got little flecks of like, I think it's like a snow burst color. I'm not sure. Uh, Demiplane. Demiplane is an amazing resource for... Uh, putting together games, uh, making sure that you've got all of your books in one place. You can search through things. You can search the disciplines. If you're looking for a Auspex discipline, just click on the Auspex tab, and it opens up all the powers. It's super easy to search, and they're player uh, character sheets, so you can share your character sheets with other people, and the Storyteller is coming soon, TM, I want to say... 
hopefully this year, I think. But yeah, I will give you information when I've got the information. So uh, now it's time to introduce our vampires. We are minus one vampire for this particular evening. So uh, we will start up in our usual position, which is uh, Mikhaila. Bonjour, God at the Mida, I dobre dieche. Hi, I'm Michaela. I am playing Violetta Tremblay tonight, your manipulative Zenitsi lawyer. Uh, and Monica. Hi, I'm Monica. Uh, I'm playing Sophia, <laughs> the um, exuberant Toreador of the group. <laughs> Joanna. Hello, my name is Joanna, and I am playing Antonia, uh, the Ventru of the group. And Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm playing Key, and I Key is the latest Powerball Ministry winner. Still waiting for the check to go through. Uh, first, you have to have Ed McMahon show up at your house with a giant novelty check. Uh, and, uh, Elaine, I'll put Elaine's stuff up in the chat, and Elaine is unable to join us for this particular episode, so, uh, it looks like next episode we're gonna have another interesting episode where this particular part of the Coterie all grabs the person who wasn't able to make it and explains everything. I love those episodes, they're great. And we specifically have it in our chats that they don't actually tell everybody <laughs> at the beginning they just make sure that everybody can learn it in game so having said that now that we're ready to go with the game uh the world of darkness is one of a few mysteries one of those mysteries is the masquerade and how the vampires keep themselves secret from the rest of the world. Part of the reason is through the vampire means of prestation, which is the trading of favors. There's minor boons, major boons, and life boons. Part of the trading of information is part of why you're they are able to maintain the masquerade, but it's also part of what keeps the political engine of the world of darkness and vampires going. So, if you have a deal with one particular clan or person in that clan, kindred, you could possibly invoke the ire of someone else a political rival to that particular person or you could also more easily curry favor with the allies of that particular person who's to say one of the ways that princes have prestation created is by granting out favors granting out boons to people ways that they help keep themselves in power because if someone has a let's say domain for example that is a means of not necessarily control per se but a means of having the people who have that particular domain kind of owing you one Kind of making sure that if you're more concerned about your domain than you are about any other goings-on in the city, perhaps you can be useful to the prince. Having said that, the last time you saw these particular kindred, they were, in an episode before this, they had met with the local Zemissi elder, And in the last episode, 
the first part of which was the Coterie kind of making sure that they had a bunch of things in order, preparing themselves for what was to come. Uh, and then they discussed with Sophia, who had get, gotten called away on extremely important Toreador business. Uh, what exactly happened with that particular meeting with the Zemissi? Having said that, we're going to pick up this particular scene where the last one kind of ended off. There, there was probably at least maybe a half an hour to an hour of little discussions here and there about possible stonework and such. And then there was a text sent from Sophia to Brayden, which is a not necessarily Toreador elder of the city, just someone who has curried a lot of favor in the Toreador. Toreador as a clan go up and down depending on social mores. If you create an art collective in the city, then a lot of Toreador will kind of look in your direction. If you make a faux pas at Elysium, wear the wrong thing, make a gesture towards the wrong person, the social snakes and ladders of the Toreador clan could rapidly have you going down one of those snakes. So Sophia had sent a text to Brayden asking if she could set up a meeting with the prince. And then nearly immediately afterwards, she had gotten a call from a number that she did not know. Sophia, are you picking up said phone call? Um, she's going to stare at it for like a ring or two hesitantly and then compose herself and answer. <clears throat> Hello? You recognize this voice. It is, in fact, Brayden. Oh. So Sophia! <sighs> How are you, darling? How's the planning going? Come on, Oh, dish. you know... <laughs> you know, I'm not ready to reveal some secrets yet, but um, be prepared because it's going to be a blast. Secrets? <laughs> You're keeping secrets from us now? Oh, dear. <laughs> That's, uh could be scandalous. Well, I do need to put on a good show. And what fun would it be without a surprise, right? This is true. This is true. There's so few surprises in these nights. Mm -hmm. So, you wanted to meet the prince. You know, if it's if it's at all possible, we just um we we have, you know, a bit of um some territorial stuff going on that we just we just want to talk to the oh. prince to get his ideas. Uh her ideas. Uh, oh, her that, ideas. Yeah, that is, so sorry. That is ghastly business, isn't it? Um, I hear, as a Toreador, our domain is uh, the art galleries. There's a lot of them. Have you seen them all? Um, I mean, I believe I've seen most of them at this point, but I don't know if I've seen all of them. Oh, there, well, there's a new display Oh, the Art Gallery of Vancouver. You should come. Uh, I've been curating it. Oh, it must be good then. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a local artist. They're, it's a, oh, these expressions are so tiresome. It's postmodernism, expressionism. There's a bunch of isms involved. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm familiar. Yes. <laughs> Well, 
Shall well, I meet you there? Uh, we can't do it tonight. Okay. There, the prince I hear is meeting with the primogen. Right. So okay. What I can do mm-hmm. is I can I can put in a word. Okay. However, mm-hmm. it's 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 fairly trivial. What what part of it is trivial? What's a trivial boon, dear? <gasps> oh. Um, for my next showing at, at my collective, mm-hmm. I'm going to need a couple of pieces of your heart. Oh, I see. Well, are there any that you had in mind, or is this a new... Well, the good stuff. Thing. Okay, okay. None well, of then. the... None of the common stuff that you give to the riffraff. Right, I'm of talking, course, of course. Talking about the really, really good stuff. Oh, yes, I do know what you mean. Yes, well, I'll, uh, I can bring by a selection for you to look at, and you can pick your pieces from there. Hmm, that would be wonderful. Yes, yes. Uh, when would you be available? Well, as soon as possible, darling. Hmm. Yes. Yes. And you've interacted with Brayden a fair bit, not mm-hmm. only in the in the city regular, but in general. Um and he when he he gets kind of not standoffish, but it's kind of like a his mind kind of wanders. Yeah. And he it it's it's not a typical Toreador reaction of like seeing a piece of art and then staring at it for like an hour. It, it, this is more of a Brayden esque thing where he he's not ignoring you. He's just brain fading off. Oh yes, really. yes, of course. Hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Well- uh, no, of course. Uh, this evening, perhaps. This evening, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, later on. No need to rush. It's only, it's only ten p.m., eleven p.m., somewhere around there. It's, it's one of the p.m. numbers. <laughs> well, you just um give me the specifics later, whenever you've already, and um I shall meet you. And he does the thing where he kind of brain wanders off again, like, oh, yes, mm-hmm, yes. And then, oh, well, I won't keep you for any longer, dear. You've experienced this particular thing before. Mm-hmm. Uh, his phone is now in his back pocket, but he didn't actually hang up. Oh, right, right. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I snapped the phone shut. <laughs> Uh, so I turn to the rest of our, uh, coterie and say, well, it looks like the prince is, uh, meeting with the primogen tonight. Um, and, uh, there's a possibility of us being able to have a meeting tomorrow, um, and I've got to procure some artwork for Brayden uh, in the meantime so that we have a reason to go. So, um, yay. Thank you. I I personally appreciate your hard work on this. Yes, of course. Anytime. Was it difficult? No, not really. Just... Uh, Oh, I have to go pick up my best pieces, and uh, you know how long it takes me to do that. Ah. Uh, well, you know best, so whatever time you need, by all means. 
Sure, or maybe sure. you should take Violetta. Yes, she'll, Violetta. She'll have it come down to like two paintings in two seconds. She'll just tell you all of them are terrible. Sure, but you must have a good eye for what higher echelons might be looking for. And Are you insinuating that I don't? No, I mean, you would be very helpful <laughs> in helping me pick which pieces. <laughs> Good answer. He. Give them. Why? No, 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 no. He gets another test. No. What did I win now? You didn't win anything this time. Damn it. This is from someone from several episodes ago. Oh, no. This is from Valeska Sabine. Who? Valeska Sabine. Oh. Dang it, my notes don't say anything. Um, can I get a quick refresh when this person was mentioned? Uh, they sent you a text asking to meet them, which is now. Oh, the... damn. Yeah. I thought, I didn't know that was going to be today. Okay. Yeah. So it's 10 p.m. now. And you get a text saying, looking forward to meeting you at the club. I have snacks. He's just gonna like take a like those inconspicuously conspicuous like side steps <laughs> towards Antonia just with their phone out and then put it uh, Antonia yes um one of my friends is coming with some snacks did you want some of the snacks I don't necessarily want the snacks I'm not sure what the snacks are so long as he's discreet Okay. I, what's the name? And Antonia pulls out her phone because she's about to text her um, front door guy. Uh, Ale is it Aleska Sabim? Uh, Valeska. Valeska. Okay, Valeska Sabim. Okay, so Antonia puts that into her phone, sends the message off to the front door guy, um, and to the manager as well, just in case. And um, you get a bunch she... of thumbs up emojis back. And to Key, she says, Do you know how many snacks by any chance? Um, I can ask, I can ask her. Uh, Key's just gonna <laughs> like text back uh, the uh, number just like whatever the hat like hashtag question mark send that and then go pps discretion uh you get back it's a gif it says but of course he's gonna text back again the hashtag symbol with the question mark again <laughs> uh you get back two question mark. I'm just gonna thumbs up their message, and then I just turn back to Antonia as I'm putting my phone away. Um, they're bringing two. All right. So Antonia sends back to, uh, you know, all the same people, you know, and they have a plus two, and that's it. And she just puts away her phone. Perfect. Um, business? Should we leave you alone? Should we let you have another booth? What What do you need? Oh, me? I don't know. Yeah. It should be fine. I actually don't know who the person is, so it's okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Jeez. What are we talking about? Hmm? You two are talking about something. What is it? And talking about has... food I don't want to share with you 
Because you uh, have a bit of an has, attitude tonight. He has invited a guest. Guest is coming with uh, uh, two snacks with discretion associated with it, of course. Uh, but of course, you're going to be so yes. busy helping on, uh, helping Sophia out with the picking of the art. So it's okay. Uh, we uh, Maybe I'll leave you some later. It's fine. No one was asked. But you literally for just asked. I wasn't asking for a handout. That's what I meant. I could have given you a foot. And I can gladly take that foot and make it into an arm holster. What conversation are we having about this again? It's it's nothing. It's good. Antonia's kind of like trying to smooth things over. She doesn't want to fight. <laughs> Just trying to have a good time, guys. Uh by Antonia. Ooh. You get a text. Busted. It's from your jewel. There's an update. Problem with uh, location for S changed everything, made sure everything was in place for another location. Just wanted you to know. Does Violet respond to that particular text? <laughs> okay, if I told you I thought that it was Antonia, I'm just... Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Over the dope. Over no, the dope. Okay, cut. Violet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Wow. So, uh, yeah, you get that text. The... You get that text. <laughs> there was a problem with the location for S reorganized everything now they are at and they give an address what is the, what are the new details surrounding this new location uh and there is a long list of things it takes like multiple texts <laughs> just going down with the little arrow button <laughs> yeah what's swiping what's this touch screen you kids talk of <laughs> Say. So I can show you. <laughs> you used today. <laughs> and Sophia, you were about to say something. Uh, I forgot. Okay. I'm just helping Violetta, showing her my smartphone and showing her how to scroll and tap and all the things the young peoples do. And while that is occurring, because I forgot to do this kind of near the opening part of the episode, uh, the old man gets a text. And what? he then says, yeah, I gotta take this. And then leaves the room. And we'll get back to that later with the old man, because we have something planned with Elaine at some other point in time. So... Uh, for everyone else, are you proceeding with plans or waiting or what? what is going on from here? I guess I'm helping Sophia pick out art. Does Sophia very have... nice for me. Does Sophia have any of that particular art at the location in the back rooms where the coterie would meet up? Or is it mostly at your studio? Um, I feel like she's been spending a lot of time at the um, at the club, so I feel like <laughs> she's probably brought a few things over. I think especially the type of artwork that Brayden is looking for. Um, 
Let's just go ahead and call that your yes. AB negative collection. Yes. <laughs> um, and since um, Antonia's bar has a um, an abundance of supply, <laughs> um, I've probably been painting out of like a like a corner in the backs of like perhaps the office or something. <laughs> Would um would Sophia have put more of herself into this particular art? And by that I mean would you have like roused your blood for like kind of inspiration or the like the uh ability, like the, the dexterousness of like brush strokes or uh, whatever yes. medium you okay you would have yes yeah. um so we're gonna go ahead and assume that you've done that for the pieces that you have there mm -hmm. so i'm gonna get you to do a roll for i just want to three rolls i want to say that there is a piece that is like on an easel that's currently like just a sketch that uh, Violetta notices, um, and it's uh, starting a portrait of the old man. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That looks amazing. Um, that's so cool. So that's what's in progress, and of course, it is part of the AB negative. <laughs> the AB um, negative collection. collection. <laughs> yes. It's not okay, only so art. You can also add water and drink it if you really need to. <laughs> but please don't. It's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, sometimes art is only useful for tax evasion. Oh, I'm well Just aware. Putting that out there. I'm very well aware of that. Because you can clearly see, even without his presence, she's still like, I recognize that ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Uh, so, uh, let's whispering. do... Let's do a dexterity and uh, crafts or performance. Do you have it in for Sophia? Uh, I have more in performance. Would you? Would Would this be more performance piece, or would it be kind of like art, crafts type thing? Um. It's it's entirely I, up to you. I could go either way. Because of the medium, I would say it's more performance okay. because it's very emotional. So let's do three rolls for that. Um, okay. For the, so, the three kind of main pieces that you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, that's seven. That is seven dice. Two, three, four. Uh, with the rouse three, check also, which would be two additional dice. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So nine total. Yeah, let's get some dice ASMR going. Holy Ooh. crap. Okay. That's a no, that's a no, that's a no. A no. That's a yes. Oh, these are not fantastic. Uh, you can you willpower can, roll. Yeah, you can do willpower. But Remind this, me. This happened in the past, basically. Yes. So if you had spent willpower on the time, you would have gotten it back by now. Um, so oh, willpower, I see. Okay. willpower, you take three dice that were not successes, that are uh -huh. regular dice, not any blood dice, and you okay. can re-roll those to uh, try to get successes again. Okay. I will do that. Okay, that's one more success. How many successes on that one? That was one, two, three, four. No, that one is you're you you would probably be thinking, Sophia, that this one would probably be kind of like a a test piece. Mm -hmm. Like a you're not sure how good it is but you you kind of want to see where this concept will go in some other piece of art uh mm -hmm. let's do that roll again for the nine days
This is much better, I think. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, five successes. Uh, any willpower expenditure on that one? Um. Yes. I'd say go for it. You've already basically okay, yeah. got it back anyway. Okay. Wait, that's a 10? No, that's a 1. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Close enough. Okay. So that's 7 successes. Uh, any 10s? 110. Okay. So that one is that one's more up to your standard. Mm, or, yes. Yeah, that one is definitely a lot better in your eyes. Uh, I'm liking this one a lot, yes. Let's do that roll one more time. All right. Uh, and for Antonia and Key, while you are, while Sophia and Violetta have gone off to uh, Sophia's little uh, section of the VVIP, you get a text, Antonia. And Key, almost probably just a couple seconds before, you get a text saying, I'm here. And Antonia, probably about 30 seconds after that text comes in for Key, you get a text that says, uh, there's someone here claiming to be that particular person. There is no plus one or plus two. Antonia raises an eyebrow kind of quizzically at Key and just types in, that's fine. Let them in on their own. Have uh, Gustav walk them up here if possible. That will take a couple seconds. Sophia, how'd you do? I did so good. Ooh. That's... <laughs> Nine successes with two tens. <laughs> Holy! So every roll, every dice was a success. Yes. And then two tens were part of that. Yeah. That is eleven successes. Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that makes even you, Sophia. Even though you're the one who made this piece of art, you you know you you look at the first one. You're like, nah, it's more of a in concept, in mm -hmm. production type thing. I could probably make it better if I had the time. The next one, you're like, yeah, okay, that's more up to my standards. And when your eyes cross over the third one. <gasps> that one. Oh my God. I haven't looked in the, at this one in so long. It's, I mean... Violetta, come on. Right? You see it, right? Yes, it is very nice. So are you prepared to say goodbye to it? <sighs> that is the dilemma, isn't it? You know, each of these is like... Like my babies. <laughs> you know, I don't really know now. <laughs> Am I ready to say goodbye to this one? There's no spill and no babble. I don't really think it's a child. But really, now, I i mean, I birthed it from my mind and my hands and the blood, you know, the... I'm pretty sure if you birth something from your hands, I would either ask if you are a doula or if there's something very wrong with you. You know what I mean. It's all figurative anyway. Um... But I guess, you know, in order to uh, get us in the best stance to meet uh, with the prince, I'm just going to have to give up my children. Why is our street is seen by no one, Sophia? It's just so hard to do to say goodbye, my precious children. You can always make more that are potentially better than these pieces. I suppose so. Well, I guess we found them. 
Yes, we have. Flashback to Antonia and Key. Gustav comes up the stairs. And the person that's with them doesn't seem... It's not that they're plain. It's that he would probably recognize this a little faster than Antonia. This is a person who has completely and utterly gone out of their way to appear to be normal, like just middle of the road, regular, quote unquote, human, just somebody who has gone to great pains to make it look like they're just, you know, hey, fellow kids, what is happening type thing, like. But he recognizes this as kind of kind of like a ministry standard type thing of this is what a lot of the ministry do to appear to be unassuming. And they've got brown hair, it's short. Uh, They're female presenting and they just have like just regular goth clothing on. And it's like kind of blackish pants, like a black band t-shirt on, uh, and like a, a riding leather jacket that clearly has never seen a motorcycle ever. And they, they, they're looking around. Welcome. Come, join us. Key? I am not Key. My name is Antonia. This is Key. And she points over to Key. And kind of steps back and lets Key take the lead. So, to bring the snacks? And they reach into the riding jacket and they pull out like two bags of blood. Yeah, you, you weren't really specific, uh, specific in the text as to like what you wanted and what was, uh, you know, what, what I was supposed to bring and what your preference was. So this one's like a B positive that is like. I don't know, 1992-ish, somewhere around there. And this one's like an A that, like, you know, 2001, but, you know. The... So it's a little yeah. bit on the freshest side. Antonia? So, you know that we have snacks like this at, at the club, yes? Yeah, but uh, Key told me to bring snacks. Oh, well, I think Key had something else in mind. Um, but by all means, if you wish to indulge, just make sure that you do it here only because down there and and in the other areas it's a uh, glassware service let's just say um it, it's not as um obvious what Wait. he's the he's snack just gonna is. walk up as antonia saying that and pick both bags up and just like shake their head and say disappointing under their breath look at them and then walk away as antonia is like still going and Antonia's like looking at Key, like, <laughs> why are you walking away? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He, he's like walking back to, oh, you went from next to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't leave Antonia's me in here like, with your crazy friends. <laughs> Antonia um, just says, okay, well, um, I'm sure that yourself and Key had, had business to discuss, yes? Correct? Did we? 
did you? Well, Antonia yeah. is now very confused. <laughs> is, is is she ministry too? Uh no. Right. Um is it okay to talk about that here? Is it okay to talk about this here? Ah, uh, yes. This is the VVIP. So it is the area where such no. things can happen. Wait, no. Um, that's not what I meant. What I meant was... <laughs> You're not very it, clear. Well, is it okay to talk about... And she, they're doing this, like, action between Key and themselves, like... Is it okay to talk about this? And for and for the record, just so just so I know, <laughs> I I remember it correctly. I didn't recognize their name, right? You did not. No. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Good. Back in. Is it okay to talk about this in front of that? Well, person? this probably knows a bit more than this. <laughs> they say now, pointing back at Alaska. <laughs> it's like, so yes, you're asking so, lots of questions. Is this is this how they run business now? Well, I'm 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 new like to the city. Oh. And I got pointed in your direction because you're like By who? Um by like another setite. They gave me like a they gave me a card and told me like contact you when I was here. Okay, that's fine. Um, he, may I have my mm. moments of of your time, please? Uh, over oh, here? not here. Okay, oh, over there. <laughs> over he followed there. Antonio. <laughs> um, he, I, you know, I, I adore you, but do you not know this person? No, I thought no you were who they are. Pointed. I feel like he's just awkwardly like looking around at Antonia every now and again, just staring <laughs> at Velasquez and coming back. No, I don't know them. I've never heard of their name. Uh, so- as you as you were both walking over there, uh, Velasquez wandered over to like the the railing where you can look out over the crowd, and they seem to be like kind of jamming to the live band that's there that honestly isn't very good. <laughs> So you you were not you oh oh my okay he you know I trust you yes but um I think perhaps maybe the people that get brought into our circle our closer circle because this is the, the closer circle um, maybe need to be vetted a little bit more. But I thought we let people in that we don't always vet. Like oh, the person, uh, the person we let in the other day, they had like a one or two weird assistants. We didn't know those people. Okay, you know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Key. No, we can um, kick Velasquez out now if they're a problem. I can just. It's I not a problem. Them. I just want to oh. know why, like, if you have business with them that you want to discuss mystery, ministry, I can go and, and do other things. I, you know, I, I can get things done, some errands done here in the club, uh, but just let me know. And don't you need do me around? Like I do business. And Key's going to reach into their pockets and pull out drugs, like the little coffin. <laughs> this is what I do. I'm, I collect things. I don't know how they found out I was here or they, I don't know what they are. I haven't even talked to the ministry in so long. Well, We're but... just floating in the way and living our lives. And, and sometimes I get random texts. Okay. I think people get lonely. Do All you right. get lonely? Um, I do not get lonely. Um, no, that mm-hmm. doesn't happen. Um, does Antonio look nervous when she says it? Uh, Antonio just looks <laughs> very perplexed <laughs> the entire situation, which is great. Joanna's loving this. Joanna, the player's loving this. Um, Antonio says, "Okay, you know what? Why don't I sit over here?" And she she points to the booth. And no, but then you... you'll be lonely. Uh, I will not be lonely. 
I, I, I might be alone, but I will never be lonely. Um, what so that? you can. That was like you, a Nickelback song. Hmm? Um, Antonia looks at Key and says, "Key, have you ever been to New Jersey?" You know what? You know it's it's okay. You don't need to answer that. That's fine. Um, why don't I sit over here? Why don't you, uh, when yourself and your guest are ready, you you can come and join me, and you can talk business. Um, because I trust you. I trust that you know what you're doing, and I don't want to be in the way. But I do want to make sure that if you need me, that I am here to assist in any way that you. Need. Okay, I'll talk loud so you can hear. All right. So <laughs> and Antonio, Antonio I was gonna say, unless walks, Antonio leaves, he's just like Antonio. Antonio puts on a big smile <laughs> and walks to the booth. Where is Key going from here? Um, Key's gonna uh, walk up to the railing. Uh, where Velasquez is, but what kind of shoes is Velasquez wearing? Uh, surprisingly, just plain, like they're boots, but they seem to be like maybe military boots. Hmm. Does it look like there's dirt, a lot of dirt on them? It doesn't look like there's a lot of dirt on them. It kind of looks like they're fresh out of the package. Okay. He's just gonna um, walk up. And so, what did you want? And at that point, it's a good time to take a bit of a break. Okay, that's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, come on back in about seven minutes, everybody, and uh, let's see how this conversation goes with Kiki. And mm. let's see what the. The art is that's going to Brayden and other things when we come back from break. Hello and welcome back. Uh, so, Key has just gone over to have a nice little chat with uh, the new ministry member that's in the club now. So... Uh, the she seems to not be paying attention to you. She's like Key jamming will... to the music. I mean, Key will stay in there all night. Oh, Just... hey, there you are. Uh, so what's up? Like, are we are we talking like? business now isn't that what you came here for yeah yeah well like okay i was given your information told to contact you when i got here because you're like one of the only ministry people that are here right yes so like what what do you want me to do like i'm like i like i said i'm super new kind of Oh my god, Antonia! <laughs> Antonia shakes her head, gets up, <laughs> walks over. Yes. You're the baby one of us. Um, where do the babies go now? That's a question. Um, she turns around to uh, to their companion here. Um, how, uh, how long have you been kindred? And she kind of whispers it. Oh, uh, we're supposed to whisper it. Okay, um, only one year. And she whispers, she's whispering to you. How long? Who did it? Uh, somebody in, uh, Somebody in like Alaska. 
and mm. and they they didn't teach you what to do how did you get ministry well you see it's kind of a funny story um from what i understand a bunch of them moved up to alaska like a while back and because you know to be honest i think they all just watched 30 days of night and <laughs> thought it was a good idea <laughs> um and it was like two months ago or so that And they they fade out. Give me a wits and awareness or a wits and investigation oh, for everybody eh. in the conversation. Um, for both of us or if you want. She's fading out like mentally. Yeah. Uh you said wits and awareness? Uh wits and awareness or wits and investigation, whichever one you want to use for this particular. Sure. One. One. Two successes from Antonian. Two. Three. Four. Four successes for Key. Key, you clue into this way before Antonian clues into this. Their eyes almost glaze over. Like, this was... Something that they don't want to talk about, but it you've you've seen you've been a vampire long enough to realize that when somebody's doing like a like a trauma memory that they mm-hmm. they're like uh yeah, there was a there was a lot of fire, I think someone mentioned later on. Um, second Inquisition, whatever that is. And Tonya's jaw kind of like drops and she's like, oh. And you got out. Yeah. And did anybody else get out? Uh, There was like one other person, but just as they were handing off this information to me, like they they gave me the information, the card with Key's information on it. And then I walked away and then I heard a bunch of gunshots and I ran back and they they weren't there anymore. It was like a bunch of I don't know, it was weird. Do you ever see the Avengers? So like what did they look like? It just said like by bots in the Avengers. They uh they look like the the person who gave me the, the card. Yes. They looked uh they like a regular ministry member, I guess. I don't know. They had they had like the eye thing going on and then gave me the card just to, to let me know that they were ministry uh regular like beard ish kind of like really short beard like do you know how old they looked not were looked probably like i don't know 20 30 but with okay. us like vampires are vampires or whatever like we could look that old and then be not that old type thing yes yes that's why i said what did they, how did it look like not how old he was but a boy girl somewhere in the middle it was a boy i think or boy presenting i suppose i guess um I don't know how they had got my information. <laughs> he says, looking at Antonia. A name? They did, didn't actually give it to me. Do you have the card? Actually, I would love to see the card. Uh, and they, like, kind of 
pat themselves down a bit and then they go into like the inside pocket and they pull out like a it's like all wrinkled but it has like it's like a white card and it has like key written like in like freehand and then like your phone number or the phone number for like the burner phone that you have And it's at this point that Sophia and Violetta would be coming out of the back room. Oh, shit. <laughs> so. Um, yes. Uh, who's, uh, who's our guest? Oh, hi, I'm Velasca. Yes, and she here. goes to shake Sophia's hand. <laughs> Pleasure. And she looks over at Key like, Ministry? Oh, God, no. Yeah, he's just <laughs> shaking her head. believe that? No. no, darling, no. No, Toreador, all the way. Hello. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, are, you, are you new? Kind of. That explains it. Okay, I'll let you slide this once. <laughs> and why He's just waiting for there? the Violetta introduction. <laughs> Violetta, you were saying? And why are we doing charity work? It's... There are... There are guests. She's our guest. Are we doing charity work? Um, so, you, okay, so, and, and she brings everybody together away from the balcony kind of <laughs> railing. She, Antonia just moves everybody over. So. It's, it's uh, a bit of a strain because these paintings are quite big and they're kind of like. Uh, put them down over here. And, oh, and okay, Antonia. Okay. All yeah, right. That way, that way you won't be lugging as much and it's safe. Okay. Um, so. Second Inquisition apparently Alaska. took out uh, in Alaska uh, our friend's entire group. The entire group. Yeah, this pretty much. Right. Yikes. Sorry, Pilata, you were saying? This is our friend. Because I don't know this person. I Okay, not friend. I use friend loosely here. Um, our uh, guest is what I meant to say. Um, so uh, they were just telling us that uh, they were given keys, name, and phone number. By apparently, whom? by some person that they don't know the name of. Interesting. Oh, that makes it really clear cut. They were ministry too. Excuse me. They were ministry as well. Violetta. Clearly. They're um let's just say that you know how you get flustered because I'm young and I don't know all the uh kindred things necessarily all the way through, even though I've trained with my sire. Well, this one has only been a kindred for a year and hasn't had the benefit of their sire, I assume. The person that sired you, my friend, my, my, my guest, my, our, our, our companion here, um, did they uh, teach you anything about being a kindred? Yes. Can you elaborate? Yes. Hmm. Can you say more than one word? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> say yes one more time. I yes. dare you. Oh, dear. <laughs> you should do it again. Yes? Hmm. I would suggest you shut up before Violetta rips your throat out. It could be fun. Violet uh, could put up a little bit of a fight. Do you like to make bets? Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind yes. making bets. Okay. 
My so, letter kind of just gets her a bit annoyed. <laughs> she gets a bit annoyed at that. She like she just like strains her suit jacket and like begins to just walk over rather calmly, almost as if saying, What are you going to do? You either as if to like say, Yeah, like shit or get off the toilet. She is like <laughs> Violet is walking to Velasquez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is great. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi. Uh, you want to make that bed again? Sure. This is the best day. I am purposely. I want to roll for this now. <laughs> I want to roll for this. I want to like squeeze her hand since she puts it out but do I want do I want to try and break this random kindred's hand or no no but I want to make her feel pain okay I just want um, to make her feel pain if, if I can break her hand. if I can as a storyteller there's a certain way to do that without actually yeah. causing damage if you shake the hand and then you squeeze right here between the thumb and the inside, you can actually squeeze that fairly hard. And it causes a rather large amount of discomfort for whoever you're shaking the hand of. You Don't try that at home, this... kids. <laughs> oh, okay. This is uh, me definitely not speaking out of character. I totally will try this. No? <laughs> Uh, so you're going to do something that. along those lines, kind yes. of like cause yeah. them discomfort, but not necessarily anything on the health tracker. Um, yeah, no, no, not yet. Uh, they are like, ah, ah, hey, hey, ah, uh, tea, a little help here. Violetta, stop it. You're being so boring. Pardon me. <gasps> She called her boring. Mm. <laughs> All right. Dealing with fucking children here. Uh, uh, All right. Ow. You and she points to. Okay, the name again. One more time. Velasquez. Velasca. Uh, Velasca. Velasca. How do you spell Vel that? Can sorry, because I keep hearing it differently every time. Uh, it's V A L E S K A. Okay, thank you. Leska, did your sire teach you about domain? Um, no. And about hospitality? Sort of. So I will be hospitable, I will welcome you here, but you will behave. Understood. Y yeah. Well, like, okay. okay, they taught me about, like, the that mask something or other. Masquerade. The masquerade. That's, that's the one. Keep everything quiet. Don't let anybody which, know that you're a vampire, right? Oh, yeah. Which you, you, your group obviously broke because the Second Inquisition knew that you were there. And now, now, if I may, you have traveled. How did you travel to Vancouver? Boat. Okay, so you traveled to Vancouver by boat from Alaska. Perfect. Were you followed? I don't think so, unless they were following me. Oh, <laughs> they you don't, don't think, think so. so. <laughs> you don't think oh, so. Dear. How do you know for are sure? We just can't. Are, are you sure we just can't? Uh, excuse me. Are you sure we just can't euthanize this person? No. We don't do that. That's what does all the time. Okay, but we are under the jurisdiction of a prince who will tell us when and if we are allowed to um, extinguish the life of another king or unlife of another not king. not declared yet. I mean, no harm, no foul. See, see, see they don't even know what I'm talking about. Give the no poor harm. thing a chance, Violetta. I don't like taking strays. Why do you think I'm so uncomfortable by another one of these garden snakes being here. It's bad enough dealing with this one. He's like, he at that point has walked up to Velasca and just leaned in and was like, 
See, isn't it a fun group? Aren't they talking about killing me? Yes, Violetta talks about that just about every day for me. So honestly, I'm feeling a little left out. I am not sure what to do with Velasca. Um, obviously, we're not going to extinguish the life. That that would not. We we can't do that, Violetta. You know we can't do that. If the prince finds out, it will be very I mean, bad. Have we asked this poor unfortunate soul what it is they are needing? Help? Help what in what need? form? Well, I was told that if there was, like, since I needed a place to stay, etc., to come to Vancouver and talk to Key. Charity work. Charity work. Not even uh, a tax write-off charity work. I mean, how do you feel about the sewers? I guess I could stay there. Problem solved. Oh, perfect. Well, isn't that like... Sophia. Uh, the... <laughs> what? I'm not going to open my doors to this. Nobody. Isn't that where the the uh, the ugly ones hang out, though? Oh, you I mean, should because... not yes. speak of such things. We are all ugly. Oh, shush. Oh, oh, here comes and then Key leans in like, oh, here, the, here comes the fight. I beg to <laughs> differ. On the inside, Sophia. On the inside. I don't think it comes differ. from within. So if you're ugly, it means your insides are rotting. So I don't know. My mirror says otherwise. All right. Uh, the last All time I'm you looked saying... in the mirror was a hundred years ago. So you know. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is they're just here looking for what? Just somewhere to stay? So yeah. a soup kitchen. I mean, <sighs> there's plenty of places for them to stay. I mean, it doesn't have to I be will, here. I will say Key at this point had put their arm around <laughs> Valeska and walked off to the side of the room away from them as you guys are still talking. <laughs> All right. So, this is a great bonding moment for the ministry. Okay. <laughs> this is this is what we're going to do. We're going to find out who their sire was. We're going to get information on their sire. And since Key is the one they contacted, uh, we should probably allow Key the pleasure of introducing this one to the prince. Hmm. And, I'm sorry. Are we introducing them to the prince? Wait. I, mean, I am perfectly fine with he doing that because that way I'm almost assured that they would die. Tomorrow. We're doing this oh, tomorrow. Oh, sorry. I mean... Wait. I have an idea. So, I mean, I'm sure for, for you, Fialetta, it was quite a while ago and, and Sophia as well, but I remember like it was yesterday that there was a, a period of time that my sire was basically had to be with me at any time that I, you know, entered kindred society, any time that I fed and whatnot, because it, it, I needed to be taught the ways of the kindred and all that. You know, that's the process. So, so I'm going to make amends to that. You don't know my backstory. I purposely make it so you don't know my backstory. Don't assume it. I won't. I'm sorry. I apologize, Violetta. Th this is basically, it it's just a Camarilla thing. They, they make you do this. So I'm aware. I'm aware. Trust me, I'm aware. Why don't we get he to continue Valeska's education? Because otherwise we will be held responsible if we let Valeska out into the um, city without a guardian, shall we say. I mean, I don't really see why it would be tacked on to us, but because it's not there a bad are, idea. There are always eyes and ears everywhere, and I can only it's, assume... It's not like we got a letter saying, this is your charge now. Is it? I don't think so. Um, 
Unless Kitty has anything they'd like to add to the conversation, since this is a member of their clan. Antonia gestures over to Key to, to come um, back. Well, that particular conversation was going on. Key, are you having any conversation with Valeska? Um, when I had pulled her away, I would have just like walked over and um Okay, so they're very fun. Usually Antonia with the purple hair, like she's the, the younger sister that didn't want any of us, but now has to deal with us. Violet is a bitch and we love her for that. And then Sophia did she gets confused over colors. I'm still figuring it out, but she's lovely. And then you'll meet the old man later. But um, in the meantime, I don't know what the hell they are going to want to do with you. But uh, if you wanted, you could crash at my place for a few days. There's more than enough room. Just, right. I mean, yeah, well, don't I, touch my shit, but you can touch it if you want to, I guess. I'll, I'll totally pay you back. Like, I just need like a, like a week or so to get my feet underneath me here. Suppose that's fine. I don't need your money. You probably need it more. All right. Um, well, I can, I guess. Well, I gave you snacks, I suppose, right? Yes, you did. And that's thankfully, like the, no one here will. That's touch like you. that favor thing. I think it is. Like and, to be fair, most of most of these rules are just guidelines. It's a. You play it based on the environment. Sometimes the rules make sense. Other times you need to, uh, and Key kind of like taps their foot on the floor. Uh, you need to see if the foundation is flat. But um, yes, so uh, whatever Antonia says, yeah, you can always agree with that. She it's, makes the most sense. It's probably at that point that you would get the wave over from Antonia. Speaking about listening to Antonia most of the time, <laughs> he turns it back around. <laughs> the last, yeah, he thank you for guiding Valeska here. Um, Valeska, question I'm assuming your sire was in that fire as well. Yeah, he's kind of gone. All right. He, you know about the uh, tradition of accounting, correct? No. Nope. Yes, maybe. But uh, maybe. key key would know. Yeah. Okay. The tradition of accounting is basically that if you create a new vampire, that you're responsible for it until it's basically presented to the prince um for release okay um yeah the the homework stuff what what's about it i don't know that uh Valeska would have had enough time to go through that process and we should probably present her to the prince because otherwise we'll be um, severely reprimanded if we don't. Since we know about Valeska now, we can't just ignore that she's here. Um, and she turns to Violetta for a second. And um, anticipating the reaction, of course. Um, is it possible? Would you be willing? Because this is obviously... A, you know, and not of your doing that they are that that Valeska is here. Would you be willing to train her and teach her until she is ready to be presented to the prince? Violetta, what do you think? You're taking on stray when you're not more by a mere child yourself, but you know, not my client, not my problem. Uh, you've done better work. Sophia, what do you think? Can we play My Fair Lady? I don't understand any of this. Like the oh, movie? Dear. Are, yes, are we you know, watching taking, a movie? Taking a dour nobody and turning them into somebody, you know? Oh, Georgie would be rolling over in his grave. 
Okay, well, you know, I just I just want to have fun with this. Wait, okay, so you mentioned... You kind of like trash to me. You can only dress up puppies and babies, and either and both of them require you to follow them. Antonia out. did call Valeska a baby, so... Uh, so we... Only a year is... It's not a lot. I mean, I'm only, it's only eight years for me, and that's still not, I don't know everything. I mean, can I just instill a few Toreador traditions into this poor, wretched thing? He looks at Valeska. Valeska looks back, and as she looks back, she's like, You said there was like an old man missing. Is Georgie the old man? No. Oh no, I'm no. referring to Shaw. I'm referring to George Bernard Shaw. Who? Oh my gosh. The musician. <laughs> oh, he was so <laughs> lovely. <laughs> he was he threw some of the best parties, I will tell you. <laughs> Antonia just waves it off. Just like, whatever. Yes, sure. The musician, whatever. I don't care. Sure. Is George yeah. Bernard Shaw party group too? No. Yes, only on Tuesdays. Oh. Um, oh dear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you sure um, you can euthanize them? For me, that's always an option. You should touch grass sometimes, Violeta. I do. Stop. <laughs> Just get out of the heels. Put your feet down flat Stop. sometimes. Stop patronizing me. And like with that, he just gets like this like subtle little smile and looks over um at Valeska and just gives a little smug nod and then turns looks back at Antonia. I guess uh, the Valeska will stay a few days at my house and uh we go to the prince tomorrow. We go yep. to the prince, but Valeska I don't think is ready for the prince. Dude. Or should we present? I I don't I don't remember. Like I think it's only when they're ready. Correct? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I wasn't presented. Uh, I thought that that yes word was your favorite. Um. Yes. Maybe she needs more training from you. How do you how, how do you how do you feed? Uh, well, I brought the snacks. It, is that how you feed? Pretty much, yeah. And like Key actually kind of looks grossed by that. <laughs> Realize Key doesn't really make that face. Okay. Is, there, is there another way to do it? No, like, it's just like an infant thing. Like you're drinking out of the bottle. It's, you had a choice not to, and you still did it. Right. It's like the milk carton. You get... My mom used to give me trouble for drinking out of the milk carton all the time. How old does Valeska look, by the way? Like, <laughs> is, is, is Valeska like... Valeska looks old, uh, like early, early 20s. Oh, just a baby. Oh, so, I mean, we look the same. And yeah, and she's only been embraced for like a year oh my gosh <laughs> okay so it's oh entirely goodness. possible she was born literally like 100 years older than her yeah so happy that we're bringing in another despondent no nothing into the group so happy about that i don't think she's is the happy. is the Violetta Violetta is hungry it's only temporary we'll figure it out I promise, Violetta, this will not impact you in any way. I'll make sure of it. I will talk to the NOS to see if there is any rumblings of um, Second Inquisition coming down from Alaska at all, because I know that that will probably worry you as well. So, of course, there has to be some form of trash from a state that no one cares about. Do you want drugs? I'm not a fucking hippie. No. You want alcohol? Oh no, you, we can't drink that anymore. Out of game Young storyteller. No life that has nothing to do with their lives. No. 
Storyteller point, you technically can drink alcohol if you drink from somebody who's had alcohol in their system. Ooh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Or drugs. Sus Suzette mm -hmm. does have something on us. Uh, Suzette does have something on tap if you did actually want that. You have infusions, dear. It's it's a premium though, because we get it from outside our mm, shall we say our network. We get it right. from outside our network, so it a... is a premium, but she will do it if you if you ask for specifics. Good to know. So, uh, so, so we don't take Velasca to the prince tomorrow. No. <laughs> Unless you think you can get it ready in one day. That's I'd love to see that. No. I don't think that will be possible. I mean, are there any books I can read? I'm pretty good at tests. <laughs> books. Oh, you. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Dear. The... Oh. I feel what like he is he is on? he is that TikTok right now or that the the sound where it's like oh I offered I offered him a beer but he's like ten years old <laughs> I don't know what to do with him all right Violetta and I'm sorry that this is giving you such a headache and I I appreciate that it's one more problem that we have on our. Plate. But why is this a problem? If I'm the one having to take care of Valeska, how is the Violetta affected so much? Do I, I don't want another idiot around me because I have to deal with your bullshit on a nightly basis. I mean, you don't have to. You can leave whenever you want. Okay, you know what? That's a good idea. Uh, Antonia just gestures to Key and is like, just no, 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 no. Just eat. Mm -mm. But but she has free will. She can go. She walks out. She's just like, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no. No, Violet, hold on. I need to take the painting. Oh, I'll just I'll just go with her. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. So Sophia loads up the large painting. It's not quite as large as the red strip down the middle in the National Art Gallery. But it's it's fairly large. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to cause any problems. You have hospitality while you are here in this club and in this domain. Should we like rest? All right, go ahead. Should we go after them or something? Or... No, no. It's fine. They will take care of it. We will not antagonize Violetta any longer. Because that is all that I request right now is that you don't antagonize her. And she looks at Key yeah. while talking to... <laughs> yeah, yeah I, uh, mm -hmm. for the stage direction, I was kind of assuming that no eyes were looking at Valeska at that particular point in time. <laughs> <laughs> I, so if you, as long as you are comfortable, you can stay here for the the time being for the next couple of hours until the club closes. Um, and while Key can tell you what Vancouver is all about, and I will make sure that your, um, Aggressors from the north are not coming down here because if they are, then we are in trouble. And it doesn't matter that you came down here; you're you'll be extinguished anyway. She's uh, yeah, she she's uh, kind of a downer. No, she's the one you listen to. Oh. Most of the time. Oh no, yes. no. Make up your your own mind. Listen to I. I've only been doing this for for eight years. 
I mean, you're right. Never yeah. listen to Antonia. Always take my advice. I am the moral compass. Yes, Got moral it. compass. He <laughs> has also been doing this longer than I have and would actually know what to do. He just gives like a <laughs> wink. <laughs> And on that note, uh, you were about to say something, Antonia? Absolutely ridiculous. And then she just, she says, I'll leave you for the moment and walks, you know, over to the bar, even though she's not actually hungry, muttering, and uh, yeah, she just goes. For those of us playing the home game who don't speak (laughs) Polish, what does that mean? Not my circus, not my my monkeys. So, Violetta stormed out. Sophia went after. Is Sophia trying to get Violetta to go with her to the the conclave? The... I forget what C word I used for that. The collection of artists that uh, the Toreador have well, I mean, I do need an extra pair of hands to help me carry, but I mean, I could call my ghoul for that unless you want it to come along. No. I'm not doing that. No. <sighs> All right. Are you calling up the ghoul? Oh, yes. Go ahead. I, I text my ghoul. I'm not on speaking terms with him yet. Turns. Violetta, where are you, uh, where are you headed? Violetta is going to call for a cab, I guess. Those still exist, yes. Uh, but she is going to send a text to Clara Stanislava. Okay. And she's going to ask her. I am sorry. She's going to say, I am sorry to bother you tonight. However, like using proper grammar and everything oh, yeah. within this text. I love that. I want to know if you have any information about my father, because she's not using any of the scary words. <laughs> Uh, about my father Matteo Grimaldi it takes um, it takes a few minutes you're you're used to doing things the old school way you're used to having people write out long text messages that are basically like letters uh and then signing them at the end like sincerely raymond holt (laughs) uh there's a couple of dots like someone is writing something and then it stops and then there's dots again and then it stops and then there's dots again and then it stops like this is extremely rare You're used to, like, they type something, and then that's it. They send. Then you get an actual text message that doesn't have a signature on it. It just says, we should meet. (laughs) Just uh, return with, uh, what would be the best time for you? Tomorrow. Uh, just uh, I'll be there. Any, <laughs> it's, uh, I will be there. Period. <laughs> <laughs> She's touching me so on the floor, but <laughs> I'm very threatening and imposing. I hate doing <laughs> this. <laughs> um, any preference on location? <laughs> Uh, my domain. Uh, and then it's just like, I will be there tomorrow night. 
then. Thank you. <laughs> Get back uh, from that. Trying to think of like an official way of saying see you then, but that's the only thing I can come up with. So see you then. 11 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. Signed. She closes her phone and just gets into... Ashley, she is going to go to the local county jail. Okay. I'm not going to go home. I'm going to be a productive woman. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And Sophia. It's easy enough to get that over to Brayden's with the help of the ghoul who spends the vast majority of the time that you're moving that particular piece of art apologizing profusely. Mm-hmm. I don't acknowledge his apologies and just head held high, just make my way to Brayden's location. Okay. When I ask for more sass from everybody, that's perfect. That's exactly what I meant. (laughs) So I'm going to do a dexterity roll for said (gasps) ghoul. Oh, don't you dare. (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, In which way? (laughs) um, Over the course of the ghoul apologizing profusely the Toreador Collective is in kind of gas townish area mm-hmm. it's easy enough to walk there but anyone who's been to Vancouver would know that a lot of gas town is kind of cobblestone mm-hmm So if someone isn't at least average dexterity, they might potentially trip and fall. So before I describe this particular scene in absolute minute detail, Sophia, take your unspent willpower... Uh-huh. And half of your humanity and roll that number of dice. <laughs> this, for everybody playing the home game, is a frenzy check. It was half of my willpower and all of my humanity? Uh, all of your willpower and half of your humanity. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Someone's going to get killed tonight. <laughs> I mean, he's already promised to the old man to eat, so. Okay, that's eight. Kill him, kill him, (laughs) kill him. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Violetta just pops out from, like, behind a mailbox. Kill him, kill him. (laughs) Do it, you coward. (laughs) Kill your ghoul, you coward. I'm looking at this like I would look at like the US playing football. No, I'm not going to say soccer so I don't offend people. (laughs) Okay, so out of eight, three were failures. Uh, Five were successes and two were tens. If you were still alive, this would be one of those moments in your life where you would swear via the shock, the beast kind of rages in the back of your mind momentarily. You would, if you would have been alive, you're, you, you swear your heart would have stopped. <laughs> Because over one of those, and 
I believe uh, Monica, the player, has actually been to Gastown fairly a lot. Oh, yes. <laughs> there's there's this one particular kind of corner in which the streets kind of go separate. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a building there that is actually haunted. It's, a, I believe, a card store. And... In the apologizing profusely that the school is doing, that particular curb is not quite as high as a regular curb would be. A regular curb would be high. This one's fairly low, so he kind of overcompensates the step, thinking that it's going to be higher. The entire time you've been alive as a kindred for a long time, Time seems to stand still in this moment. I'm going to give you a chance. Do you have celerity? As a discipline. I, uh, I don't believe so. I'm going to give you a chance with a dexterity and athletics roll. Okay. To prevent this from happening. But you... Time slows down. You see the art because he was kind of carrying it Shit. a little bit over his head. Mm-hmm. He missteps. The art goes forward. Mm-hmm. And you can possibly save it. Do you want to rouse your dexterity? Uh, yes. How do I do that again? Uh, it's one uh, blood dice. Okay. And your dexterity will raise regardless of this. This just determines whether or not you get hungrier by doing it. Okay. That's three successes. Oh, it's uh, uh, just one blood dice for the rouse check. Oh, it's just the one? Yeah. Okay, the the blood check, the rouse dice was a 10. Okay, so you succeeded. Uh, yes. Now it's your dexterity and athletics plus okay. the two dice for the extra. As your heart essentially would have stopped if you were human. And the the art itself is sliding forward. Time seems to be stopping. Okay, one of these is cocked. Hold on. Suspense. <laughs> Three successes out of five. Do you uh are the successes on or sorry, are the non successes on regular dice? Yes. Do you want to spend a willpower to re roll those? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> More suspense. I'm just building it up. Okay, that's one more success. So it's for four. A total of four out of five. You are barely able to catch him with one arm and then correct the art with the other. As I catch him on his <laughs> arm, I have like stiletto like point acrylic nails that are like the brightest red you've ever seen and they just dig into his arm to the point where I am literally like digging those nails into the the meat (laughs) Uh, uh, ow sorry sorry and as I catch the artwork I kind of get it out of his grasp and with my nails like dug into his shoulder just whip him down away from it oh he falls onto the cobblestone. he he was already off balance yeah Uh, uh, uh. sorry Uh, sorry <clears throat> uh, 
dearest. Yeah. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to text you an address. Okay. And you are going to go there. Okay. Leave. Sorry? Now. Leave. He scrambles up and runs off. She composes herself and gets her hair in place and she looks at her hand covered in blood and kind of looks a little bit disgusted but also kind of hungry. <clears throat> Gives it just a little bit of a lick and um, grabs a handkerchief and wipes the rest off. Tastes pretty good. <clears throat> And she kind of hates herself for thinking it hates, it tastes good. <laughs> um, and uh, she, how far is she away from the location that Brady? Not too far. You're pretty pretty much practically there. Okay, she's going to just carry the rest herself, <laughs> very gingerly and carefully. <laughs> and as Sophia makes her way through the rain slicked but not raining streets of gas town to the, the collection of toreador that's a good place to stop this particular episode and get ready for the next one so thank you all for watching uh if uh if you felt the need to send us any subscriptions or anything else uh thank you it's always appreciated money goes to the people on screen and uh yeah so thank you all for watching let's do some quick outros and uh tell everybody where you're gonna be what you're doing gonna be doing and uh what you have planned next well this is like filmed way in advance so it might not be stuff might not be revealed yet uh or has already been revealed but you've already done it Either way, so ordinarily I would go with Elaine first, um, but uh, I'll just throw Elaine's info up in the chat, but we'll go over to Chris. Hello, I'm Chris, a.k.a. Key, a.k.a. I don't, even have, I don't even have any jokes about Key today. Dang it. Anyways, lovely little ministry member who should definitely not be a mom. Um, you can find me a D and D imposter on all social media, and I play Nathero on here as a Bastion, which is a masks campaign on Alec the Bard's YouTube. And by this time, it should have already been announced publicly <laughs> that I'm going to be GMing uh, five percent chances um, next uh, AP Call of Cthulhu. It's going to be uh, the Dread Carnival, where all the player characters are teenagers. So a little bit spicier for modern day Cthulhu. And Joanna. Hello, my name is Joanna. I was playing Antonia, your friendly neighborhood ventru. Um, you will find me on the socials as Hyrule Gardener, and you'll find me here playing vampire. And that's it. Friendly, really? Is that what we're gonna? Oh do yeah, so ventru? friendly. <laughs> so friendly really? antonia is the friendliest person out of all of us let's <laughs> yes. really be honest here absolutely yeah, the friendliest venture ever who doesn't want to get killed by the second inquisition <laughs> and monica hi i'm monica you're bloodthirsty secretly bloodthirsty <laughs> <laughs> Um, Toriador, Sophia, uh, you can find me at Monica M underscore art across all of the socials, even the ones that are imploding. Um, and you can check out my graphic novel, uh, Doña Quixote, Rise of the Night, coming out September 5th, available wherever books are sold, Amazon, Macmillan, Barnes & Noble, Indigo, wherever you want to buy it. It's out there. Hard covers and paper covers are available. And we have the link in the chat which should be right about here but at this point let's go right there. it's right there okay uh and last but certainly not least everybody's favorite the meat sea <laughs> michaela 
Bonjour, God at the Vida, y Dobre Dieche. Hi, I've been Michaela, otherwise known as Cosmic Dazai, on Twitter, I'm not going to call it X, Instagram, um, Tumblr, because I'm sad. <laughs> um, uh, I think by this time, maybe the thing I'm GMing will come out, maybe, hopefully. Either way, when I'm not torturing my players, I'm being tortured here. <laughs> <laughs> and you love it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm being gaslit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, and this guy is Storyteller Steve. So if you want to help out the channel, uh, there's a number of different ways you can do that. If you're on Twitch, give us a follow. If you're on YouTube, give us a sub. Both of these options are free. Uh, help us spread the word whenever we tweet, skeet, whatever thing we're doing in the next couple of weeks, like buzzing or whatever on Hive. I don't know what they're called. Uh, but yeah, help us spread the word about the shows and uh, aim them towards uh, either here on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, and if you've got a bit of uh, got a bit of money that you want to throw our way, you can subscribe here on Twitch, uh, which costs about five bucks, I believe. And if you have a Amazon Prime subscription, you link it to your Twitch. You can give us some of Jeff Bezos's money because that is a free subscription, and the money goes to the folks on screen. Or if you're over on YouTube. Uh, the YouTube thing is called Members, and it's only three bucks, and we get the vast majority of that money, so uh, yeah, check us out that way, or you can go to our Patreon. Our Patreon, for just five bucks, you can see episodes early. Every Sunday, I believe I post them, and we broadcast this on the Saturday, so if you really, really want to see the next episode super early, do that, and uh Money goes to the folks on screen. Or you can go to our merch shop, which you can get stuff like the Meet C t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing. And as per usual, I always mention this. Now it's become a thing. You can buy the Meet C shower curtain if you really, really wanted to. Or a VBN shower curtain, really, because it looks kind of like the AFK thing that we have over here for Elaine. Uh, yeah, you could do that. And if you buy uh, the Meet C shower curtain, we're going to have a contest. And, you know, we'll probably find something to give away and then send all of the entries up to Cosmic Design on all social medias. And then Mikayla will pick a winner or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we will find somebody to rate out to and we will uh, see you next week with another episode. So have a good night, everybody.